What's going on YouTube? You're not a gamer one on one here and welcome to another Dark Souls 3 guy. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get every coal in Dark Souls 3. These are similar to embers that allow you to infuse your weapons with lightning, fire, bleed, pretty much anything you can think of. Now there are four spread out through this entire game, so if you have any questions on where I'm located or anything, you can comment below or tweet me at United Gamer 101. Also, whatever the coal unlocks will be in the description below, so I don't have to sit here and list every single thing each coal unlocks. Each coal that we get can be returned back to Firelink Shrine and give it to the blacksmith and he will allow you to infuse your weapons. A side note to notice is that you will also need a specific gem to infuse the weapon like a lightning gem, a bleed gem, and such like that. I'm also working a guide on the location of all of those. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with it guys. First off is the Farron Coal located in the Road of Sacrifices, one of the beginning worlds in this game. This allows you to infuse your weapons with heavy gems, sharp gems, and poison gems. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up for time's sake. You can pause the video as you like, but what you want to do is you want to hug the right. You can pretty much run past all these enemies. When you come up to the end, you're going to take a sharp left, and it's going to be at the very end of the hallway next to a black knight. Next up is the Sage's Cult located in the Farron Keep. This is going to allow you to infuse your weapons with Crystal Gems, Blessed Gems, and Deep Gems. Follow this left route, you can pretty much avoid all these enemies. You are going to run into a Dark Wraith member, so be sure to go ahead and take care of him so he doesn't bother you picking it up. Once he's dead, you can go ahead and grab the Sage's Gem. Next up, next up is at the very first bonfire in Norlando, and this one might be nostalgic for some of you guys if you played Dark Souls 1. This is going to be the Giant's Cold that allows you to fuse your weapons with Lightning Gems, Simple Gems, and Chaos Gems. An awesome cold that you guys definitely need to get. Now there aren't any enemies on my screen, but there will be two Black Knights up the staircase, but you can run past them and go ahead and grab it. It's from our good old friend from Dark Souls 1. Last but not least is the Profaned Gem, located in the Arithal Dungeon. This is much later in the game, but this allows you to infuse your weapons with Dark Gems, Blood Gems, and Hollow Gems. Now this world can be very confusing like the Tower of Lotria back in Demon's Souls, and there's a lot of shortcuts and keys needed, so what I'm going to do is take you guys the very original path to actually get to this place, so you guys that don't have the shortcuts unlocked won't get confused. Once you make it to this big auditorium with these eight mages, you can go straight ahead to this left gate, the very first left gate. Come to this back room, it's guarded by whatever these things are, these creepy things, and you will get your profane gem. Now make your way back to Firelink Shrine and go ahead and give him these gems. You could be doing this on the way through this. You don't have to wait till you get all of them. You can give them periodically throughout the game. But now you are able to infuse these weapons with all kinds of elements. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you will need specific gems like lightning gems and blood gems and such to actually infuse that weapon with. This just allows the blacksmith to be able to infuse those gems into your weapons. And also notice that not every single weapon in this game is able to infuse with something. As you can tell, not all of my inventory, not even the weapon that I'm using now can be infused. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can comment below or tweet me at UnitedGamer101. And you can also subscribe for more Dark Souls 3 guys and content on my channel. I have a playlist of every single guide that I have done and will be doing in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next Dark Souls 3 video.